Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, happy Friday uh, overnight. Soybean prices are up a little bit, corn and wheat's unchanged. Outside markets, global stock markets are higher. I think there's a little bit of confidence in that Europe uh, comments yesterday might be helping uh, just the overall economy uh, there. There's also some reports that chart formations and maybe some freezing of production might have bottomed the crude oil market for a while. And that, that's also helping the market. For the week, beans are up 16 cents. Corn up six, wheat up 15. I think wheat's up because of concerns about some U.S. weather issues. Uh, corn might also be following wheat with some similar issues. While the beans, looks like for May, the U.S. Uh, market is competitive on the export side to China. And with the strong real, Brazil farmers have stopped selling. There's a truck strike uh, there today uh, in Brazil. And kind of the question mark is, do we pick up a little bit of uh, export business uh, here in the United States? because of the rally and the real. Um, as far as any other news, there's some rains and cooler temperatures in Argentina uh, that may slow the maturation of the crop there and harvest down there. And we also note that these higher soybean prices as we get closer to $9 beans is triggering some U.S. farmer selling. Yesterday funds were buyers of beans, meal, corn, and wheat. Sellers of a little bit of oil. Continue to be big shorts uh, going into the uh, growing season. Um, just looking at markets in general, what's hot? I think that uh, the bean oil market and uh, also the sugar market is seeing a breakout on the upside because of maybe El Nino weather. Obviously the stock market looks brighter right now and the Canadian dollar looks like one of the better currency. What's not hot? Well the yen is continues to drop lower and some people think that beans and coffee are just too high price-wise because of the supply in, in South America. So uh, we'll just kind of see how all this unfolds as we go into the March USDA 31st Stocks and Acreage Report and as we start trading weather. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.